Android 11 recently released in public with features like chat bubbles, revamped power menu, new one-time permissions, etc. But as of now, it's available only on limited devices like the Pixels, OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro. And going by the history of Android updates, things have improved but still, the majority of you would have to wait any time around 200 to 250 days. So while you're waiting for Android 11, how about you get most of the features right now? I mean like right now on whatever Android versions you are. So with that out, here's Pratik from TechWiser.com and this is how to get Android 11 features on pretty much any Android phone. In my opinion, Android 11's biggest feature is privacy. Now you can give one-time camera, microphone and location permission to apps that you usually download for a one-time use case. If I have to upload a story from within the Instagram app, I have to go through it and provide it camera permission. So in Android 11, you can always select allow once. The permission is automatically revoked when you close the app. But with older Android 10, you don't have the option of one-time permission. Thankfully, you can use Bouncer. It works the same way as Android 11. It removes the permission from the app once you close the app. Again, here, have a look. I open the Instagram app and access the story. I tap on allow and there I get a pop-up from Bouncer asking that if I would like to keep this permission. I would just tap on remove. So now once I close Instagram, and go back again to the story section here it asks for camera again meaning i just provided it one time camera permission on android 10. the best part is again if i provided the camera permission bouncer will keep on automatically removing it every single time Another subtle change made on Android 11 was the media player going into the notification shade. It also provides you the option to quickly switch the output device from your phone's speaker to TWS or headphones. In order to get this feature on any Android device, you can use PowerShade. It completely replaces your notification shade with the stock notification shade. And now when you play something on Spotify, the media controls will be part of the notification shade just like Android 11. You can change speaker output by just tapping over here. It also remembers your previous listening sessions and you just have to swipe to access them just like Android 11. The only problem with PowerShade is that if you use the swipe down to access notification shade gesture, it will always bring up your old notification shade. And for PowerShade, you will have to swipe down from the top you can choose to permanently override the system panel but the gesture then is just choppy. The most highlighted feature on Android 11 is chat heads, I mean chat bubbles. So if someone sends you a message on WhatsApp, SMS, Instagram, Telegram, etc, etc, you have the option to pop out the individual chat message as chat bubbles. It's like Facebook Messenger's chat heads, but it's now available on any texting app. Now this chat bubble feature was a part of Android 10, I guess beta 2, but was later dropped in the public release. So you might still find a bubble toggle in developer option, but it does nothing. However, you can still use chat bubbles in Android 10 and the app to do that is direct chat. It gets the same chat bubbles on the home screen and you can continue your conversations right from here. Now it has multiple customization options which you will have a fun time exploring but there are a lot of caveats. Foremost, as soon as you receive the message, it will have a chat bubble created automatically. Unlike Android 11 where you could decide what conversation to pop up it's not there over here. It's not at all seamless like that. Next, the chat window doesn't show up images, videos, and multimedia in the chat window conversation. Like here, Kaushik has sent me a meme and a lol message because he thinks the memes are funny. But the window shows only text and no image. So now I think Kaushik's just laughing at me. Bully. 
it clubs all the messages from an individual app into the same chat window like here i have multiple messages from whatsapp and now it's clubbed under one window and the last problem full screen ads so i'm kind of cheating on this one but hear me out android 11 now allows you to provide camera and microphone permission as allow while in use this means that the app cannot use the camera and microphone while it's in the background now there's no app which replicates this exact one time permission behavior but here's access dots which can at least inform you so access dot replicates this ios style green and orange dots so whenever an app is using your camera you get a green dot on the top and similarly orange if your microphone is accessed so if any app accesses mic and camera in the background you cannot block it like android 11 but at least you would be aware and can disable the app With the new Android 11, you can check out dismiss notifications just by clicking on the manage notifications option. Not just that, it also includes the ability to see the message content. Even on Android 10, you can check missed notifications. Here, have a look. Head over to widgets and drag and drop the settings widget. From the menu, select notification log. Here you can see your notifications, but the text is deep hidden in the log format. Quite confusing and unintuitive. So you can use an app called Notification Log History. It's built on top of the same notification log that I showed you before, but it makes reading missed text and messages a hell lot easier. Like it groups the notification from one app, you tap on it and you can see the notifications stacked up in a proper list. The only caveat with this app is, again, full screen ads. With the big features out of the way, there's also subtle changes in Android 11. Like, have a look. In D&D mode, you can allow exceptions. For instance, now apart from calls and messages, you can also choose WhatsApp to send notifications while you are in D&D. Because who uses SMS nowadays? Anyways, on other Android devices, you can get pretty much the same selective D&D feature using the device app. Once you install Daywise, it will automatically create four batches for you to receive messages. So it's like you'll receive messages at 8 in the morning, 12 during lunch, 5 in the evening and 10 o'clock at night. The rest of the time, it's on D&D. &D. Obviously, you can change the timings as per your schedule or even increase the batches. Next, unlike Android's native D&D, Daywise is smart enough to detect all your important notifications based on installed apps. For example, here, have a look. I'll receive Zomato, Swiggy, Order Status, Uber and Ola ride alerts even during D&D because hey, it's important. But you won't see their promotional messages or discount alerts. Similarly, during D&D, it doesn't block WhatsApp DMs, but it will block WhatsApp group messages. Unless you haven't already muted your family WhatsApp group. Sweet. Okay, when I read the Android 11 feature list, it was funny at the same time relieving that now airplane mode will not turn off Bluetooth if you're listening to music. Finally, now to get this feature on pretty much any Android device, there's no app as such, but what you have to do is run some commands on Windows 10, the old school ADB way. For that, connect your Android to your Windows PC, download ADB platform tools. Next, open CMD and shoot this command. ADB shell and then next this one. Notice in this command I have mentioned things which I want airplane mode to shut down. That is cell which is your mobile network, Wi-Fi, NFC and WiMAX is just wireless microwave access. It might or might not exist in your smartphone. Anyways, in case you want airplane mode not to turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you can even omit Wi-Fi from the above command and run this instead. If you ever wanted to return things to normal, use the following command and it will just reset the airplane mode settings. So this was the list. 
Apart from these, you can always use apps like Wallpy, Launcher Launcher and Pixel Icon Pack to get the exact Android 11 Pixel look. And let us know in the comments how do you like this new setup. We are trying things a bit. On that note, this is Pratik signing off. Subscribe to TechWiser. See you soon.